Fans in town for the New Year's Day Sugar Bowl showdown are getting a taste of how New Orleanians celebrate such an occasion. This as the clock inches closer to the new year and to Monday night's kickoff. Man, go go. For the Dixon family, the stakes of Monday night's Sugar Bowl matchup between the Washington Huskies and the Texas Longhorns couldn't be higher. It's so important for them to win this, seriously. And my brother, it's like his first year playing D1 at Washington's cornerback, good interceptions and all that. Tell your quarterback to watch out. Final preps and celebrations wrapped Sunday evening the best way New Orleans knows how, with a parade through the French Quarter. Before that starting senior cornerback, it's all business. Now y'all got a big day tomorrow. Are you gonna get to have any fun tonight? No, we're not having no fun, man. We gonna the fun gonna happen after we win tomorrow. Longhorn fans threw up their horns in droves and gave some hot takes on their final score predictions. Michael Penix is going off, but they're not winning. That's what's happening. I mean, I gotta say we're coming away with it tomorrow. Gotta go in confident. I mean, 90-0 for me. 90-0. Yeah. <laughs> How do the Huskies feel about that call? Jury still out. But when in NOLA, you eat as the locals do, sometimes more than once. Actually gone beignets twice at Cafe du Monde. Uh, unbelievable, right? I still don't know what chicory is, but the coffee was pretty good too, so can't complain. Is that it? Yeah. The tourist cash is flowing through the city. $80.60. One veteran merchandiser says the Huskies started off strong, buying up all the purple they could find. But the Longhorns are creeping up in the spending competition. And we did buy a lot of Sugar Bowl Champs shirts that we don't normally buy because the level of this game is sky high. Come Tuesday for the boxes of shirts for the losing team. My daughter's on her honeymoon in Vietnam, so I'm probably shipping everything to Vietnam and asking her to stick around and sell some product for the loser. Fans of both teams hoping to start the new year on the right side of the scoreboard. We want to get to the natty. Like this is a step in the process. We're not there yet. Now the Sugar Bowl victor will advance to the January 8th National Championship game in Houston where they will take on the winner of Monday's Rose Bowl between Alabama and Michigan.